Good afternoon, everybody. This will be a totally different kind of uh, presentation than the earlier one. Uh, I'm, I come from a special library which has some special needs. And this uh, presentation will tell how we uh, help our daily routines by using a mac ma macro. And my name is Sirpa Janhonen, and I work as a office manager in National Repository Library. And I have made this presentation together with Anton Koukari, my colleague, who was not able to join the conference today. First of all, some basic information about our library, which has been founded in 1989, and it is situated in Kuopio, Finland. And uh, we have 18 professionals, library professionals, working in our library. And our basic function is to receive, store, and offer material for the use of other libraries. And our library material is mainly printed material. And we are a library of libraries, so we don't have... Uh, uh, our pa patrons are libraries, so, so our needs are a bit different than many, many other libraries. And uh, almost every Finnish library uses our services by sending material and lending material. And our uh, services are free of charge to everyone. And thanks to uh, Finnish Ministry of Education and Culture, who provides the funding for our library. And at the same time, of course, is responsible for the performance guidance of our library. And there you can see a map of Finland. So Kuopio is situated in middle part of Finland. It is not nearby Helsinki, where I come from. And uh, our activ activities are directed by a board of members which are appointed by Minister of uh, Culture, uh, Education and Culture. And the board members represent Finnish library field. Um, then some words about our collection. Our collection consists uh, about 104 shelf kilometers at the moment, and the increase per year is about 1.5 kilometers. And libraries send material which they remove from their own collection. So, in fact, our collection is a weeded collection of library collections. <laughs> and we don't have an acquisition of our own. And uh, we increase about uh, 55,000 uh, up to 70,000 new records into our database every year. So the amount is quite big. And our collection is stored in numerous currents. It means in order of, order of arrival. And we don't have any classification, or, and uh, it's the only way how our material is found in our collection. Uh, then, then some words about our cataloging. So about 10 persons catalogs every day at the same time. Item record has first temporarily uh, self-location catalogers initials. And uh, only one person is able to give the final self-location at one time, and usually several thousands Dozens of publications will be given a self-location at a time. And as I mentioned earlier, the self-location is the only way publication may be found in our collection. So the, or, or the order is really important. 
Here you can see a picture of, uh, from ourselves. Uh, we pack uh, material in three sizes to be economical, and we leave all labels from our other libraries. So you can see many kind of labels on the back, back, back of uh, books. And you can see also red fla flags, so someone has borrowed our material. And on, on the left, or is it, uh, on the, it's the uh, blue paste uh, part of the picture. You can see uh, uh, how we store, store the books. So there are always first letter, it means in which hall the uh, material is stored, and then is the size, and then is the year, and then the year begins always from the first beginning. And this is uh, the biggest size, and uh, as you can see, there are not so many uh, pieces uh, received in 1992, size A, size 3. And uh, then, uh, I continue with the micro programs. And before Koha, we used Voyager library system and we had Macro Express. So, micro, macros are not uh, the micros are used in our library for several years, but uh, it was a big change because uh, Voyager was. Uh, client-based, and then uh, Koha is uh, uh, web-based. Based. So we had to uh, think when we changed to Koha 2019, uh, we had to change uh, also the micro, pro micro program. And uh, the old version of uh, Micro Express didn't work with the with the Voyager, and uh, it is a financial program, so we should have bought a new version. So we began to investigate if there are any free programs available which are maybe a bit more convenient to use with Koha. And we investigate many, many, I, I think there were three or four programs and we choose a pro program called Pullover. And um, there you can see a snapshot of um, our item record. There's a full call number, my initials at, at that time, and then PAR code. And in our library, it it's always begins 165. And, uh, the micro, macro script efficiently navigates through Koha by identifying and locating the required input fields and boxes. And user is asked to read the barcode by the barcode scanner. And my, my macro continues, user is asked, asked to read uh, the full call number to replace the initials. Macro continues and saves the new call number, which is the final call number. And the save, it's, uh, it saves, Macro saves the call number and continues to ask the next barcode. And with this process, uh, we use image recognition command integrated into the, uh, the auto, auto hotkey scripting language. So, how to be sure that um, really the right thing is done? So, it is essential to first identify the item and the barcode. To automate, we use this auto hotkey. 
that repeats the routine process multiple times as long as the user ends the process. And uh, this script can be converted into executable, executable files, which allows the creations of standalone executables that can be run without the uh, need of so software installation. So we don't, we don't have to install into every machine we use. So there you can see a screenshot of uh, the code, and then there is an other one. I don't uh, explain this because my, my colleague Anton is more convenient with the, with the code, so, so just screenshots. And then some examples of a pullover toolbox we use. There are, um, Macro uses a lot of uh, keyboard shortcuts for simple tasks like navigating throughout input boxes. For example, tap key and, and control F. And there's a screenshot of, of, of the, this toolbox. And then there are conditional statements, if else, if, if else, which serve the purpose of ensuring that accurate barcodes are entered or if a specific image has been recognized by the script. In our case, it may, may be, for example, uh, if, if the barcode is correct or if there is something wrong. There are some statements we have made to be sure that there are maybe enough characters. And if, if it's okay, the uh, macro continues, but if it's not okay, then it stops and, and gives an error message to user. And then there's an image search tool, with it, which is for creating picture files which the script tries to detect. Usually the image search tool is used in conjunction with the mouse tool to quickly identify and navigate clickable objects in, on a web page. A screenshot of a desired object is taken after which desired variables um, are given into X and Y axis of an image. These values can be entered into the mouse tool, which will align the cursor to these previously defined coordinates. And there you can see also screenshots of, of these tools. And then there's uh, information about pullover. Uh, it's free of charge, and uh, here are links if you want to know some more information and if pullover is not familiar to you. And uh, then some um, experiences from, from us. So assigning a self-location takes 50% uh, less time using pullover than working traditionally with the keyboard and mouse. And usually macro works fine and books are in order, but we usually double check with item search, barcode is initials and barcode is 165, because sometimes when people work whole day cataloging, there may be some mistakes. And in, in fact, we have also uh, manual bookkeeping of um, uh, barcode numbers used one day. So if there is something wrong and maybe, for example, someone wants to borrow a book which has some odd self-location, we are able to relocate also manually this place. It has happened uh, maybe twice in the 20 years I have worked in <laughs> National Repository Library, but twice is too much if, 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 if the material is not available. And
and the macro makes the routing work really much easier in our case, but the user still has to focus on the process, not to do something else. Because the, anything can, ha can happen, and, and we have some experiences also of, of that. And uh, uh, with Koha, we have noticed that updates of Koha usually needs the macro also to be updated. So this means a little break with the use of macro. But um, Anton, who is responsible in our library for maintaining and, and creating this um, macro, is really fast, and, and this macro is, is then used in use for in, in a days or even one day. And besides all, our staff is really happy with this. And this is all I had to say. Uh, here you see a general information from, of our library email address, my email address, and if you have technical questions of this macro or pullover program, please, please contact Anton. Papa, because they don't have like uh, human customers, we never see what they are doing in the repository library, so this was Interesting in that sense that we get a glimpse of your daily work. And, uh, and from this picture, you you can see the amount of material and, and uh, these um, carries are, are going to to cataloger. So so we have ongoing process of cataloging. Luckily, they don't need to catalog from scratch, but they yes. can use the, the existing reports. Yes, we, we use existing records as much as we can, and, and earlier you have heard Melinda database. Uh, Melinda is our cataloging database, and in, in Koha we use as less, Koha, in Koha we make as uh, less as possible work with cataloging, so it's mainly item records 